Good day, everyone, and welcome back to yet another requested tutorial where I will teach you how to make this exact gem. I really hope you'll enjoy it, and with no further ado, uh, let's just get started. So, uh, for the gem shape, uh, you could use an add-on that is called Extra Object. And um, when you go to add mesh, uh, it just has extra diamonds, brilliant diamond, di diamond and gem. So um, we would use something like a brilliant diamond shape this time. Uh, but <clears throat> whenever I'm using a a model that's not created by me, I don't really feel like I'm created the piece. I created the piece so. I mean it's okay you can use the model if you don't want to model it yourself but I'm going to do a bit of modeling practice here and model the whole diamond by myself so you can join me you can skip the video or do it whatever you want you know <laughs> and yeah so the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to delete the default cube and add a plane Go to edit mode, duplicate it and rotate it by 45 degrees. Now select all, delete uh, only edges and faces. Now let's go to vertex, vertex select mode and just fill all of these. Alright, uh, now uh, I want to do a couple of cuts so we could use some symmetry with a knife tool by pressing K and uh, select one of these faces press ctrl i to invert them invert the selection and x uh, n for only faces no uh, <laughs> x f for faces yep uh, now let's go to modifiers tab add a modifier select a mirror modifier now copy it change the axis to y and now we just have uh, the exact same shape that we just had before. Now select it, to recalculate the normals. Um, it didn't switch, so you need to pick the inside uh, right here, in the properties tab, so it really inverts it. And <clears throat> okay, so now uh, we need to do a couple of extrusions. Uh, one about this big, now a small one and a bigger one again and then just go till the end okay um, select the top faces and press space um, poke which is alt p for a shortcut but I really rarely use it so I guess I can just type it up you know <laughs> yeah uh, now uh, we need to do a cut here, just like that, with a knife tool. And the other thing that we need to do here is uh, to <coughs> add a cut like that, both sides. Now for this one. Uh, it should go to the inner part like that just to create like a, a little diamond shape like that okay and now the last part a um, couple of cuts here and there same in the other part Okay, uh, doing well so far. Nice. Uh, now uh, let's apply those mirrors, mirror modifiers, and um, select the top, scale it inwards. Now let's select the bottom, Alt M to merge it and just collapse. Okay, now let's <clears throat> select this loop right here. Um, 
you can go front orthographic just box selected okay uh, we can slide it down for a little bit grab grab <coughs> 2g uh, yeah uh, now let's just adjust the shape a little bit more just like that um, for this one we should make it round so space uh, do sphere uh, shift alt s is the shortcut all right um, here we have the shape uh, I guess you could scale these ones a little bit more uh, I mean the faces here <coughs> all right now uh, the last step is we really need to you uh, to uh, dissolve these faces which is X and S for dissolve faces just do that to every uh, every single one of those because we couldn't really do that to all of them in uh, mirror modifier so we need to do that now because it just doesn't work that way alright it's good that we don't have so many of them alright <clears throat> now one thing I want to do here uh, is to select a loop around here like that control alt shift right click uh, okay and go to select options checker deselect uh, every second one now uh, make sure it is on this part of it whatever you see a uh, you see the shape and it has to be at the bottom of it uh, not here okay and uh, we need to scale this uh, on the axis just like that to make it sharper Okay. Um, now I guess you uh, could just subdivide it and add a little bit more detail um, like that but I don't really feel like it adds a big difference uh, that that um, <coughs> that brilliant diamond uh, shape uh, in in the add and has this but well, uh, I think that we are not we are not going to be adding that since it's um, not really of a super useful thing. Okay, so um, we have this, and I really feel like <laughs> it looks strange when you look from the side here. So it should have a cut here. Yeah, it will look better. Um, so I guess we could cut all of these ones once more. Okay, uh, we're all around and uh, we're done with the shape. And just when you're satisfied with it, um, we can just jump right into materials, which I guess is the biggest part of this tutorial, the most interesting part, which uh, makes the diamond look like diamond, not like um, a plastic box, I guess. Yeah. So uh, let's just switch to cycles, because we're not old school, you know, modern. <laughs> and um, let's go to node editor, and let's just add a new material for our diamond. Okay. Uh, now, obviously, for a diamond, we are going to need a glass BSDF. So. Uh, let's add a shader um, press B and it's class BSDF <coughs> just add the shader to output and 
Uh, now this index of refraction isn't uh, isn't for a diamond shape, and diamond is something close to 2.4, uh, which I guess is 2.417, but it just doesn't make a difference. So yeah, uh, now let's switch to GPU for a little bit faster rendering and Shift Z to preview how it looks like. All right, we don't have anything fancy yet. Uh, but uh, let uh, um, just in case that we see it better, uh, let's go to world options, use nodes, and add a sky texture here. Increase the strength to something like five, or <clears throat> I guess that's a little bit too much. Four, yeah, looks good so far. Uh, well, I noticed this face looks um, cut in comparison to this one cut like that so I remember when I had this uh, last time I just selected all of them and just delete faces now select the whole model and fill holes now whenever whenever I looked again at it um, didn't seem to notice the vertical ones all right, still have some horizontal ones, but yeah. <clears throat> All right. <sighs> sure. Uh, now uh, let's add a mix shader because we're going to do a more interesting color for it. And now. Uh, we're going to be using a gradient, uh, gradient texture for the factor of it, uh, which will need to be uh, rotated <laughs> because now it just goes sideways like this. Uh, if you want to see it better, you can add the emission shader and you'll just see the gradient it by itself uh, yeah now uh, we need to rotate it so add a texture coordinate node it uses a generated one by default uh, but we will add a vector mapping and rotate it on y-axis by 90 degrees all right, now we have it going from top to bottom. Um, I guess I want uh, the black black part to be a little bit be uh, bigger, so I'll add a contrast node for Shift A C B, uh, brightness and contrast, and increase the contrast to two. All right, now we have the upper part being black and the lower part being white. Okay, now uh, you should. Uh, Add this to your uh, glass one, and I guess uh, the uh, the top of it will be uh, a little bit shinier, so it will be white, and the bottom will be the color that you selected. And now you can see the reflection at the top, so it doesn't really uh, look like it's only white at the top, but at the bottom it looks like um, <coughs> some really condensed color, and um, I really like that look. Okay, so it's far not yet done. <laughs> it looks really boring, and <sighs> we need to work on it more. All right, so what are we? Go what we're going to do is. Uh, duplicate these glass BSDF and mix nodes together for two times. Now on one of them, uh, change the color to black, and the factor is okay. Uh, now, <coughs> whenever you're going to mix these shaders, let's just see how it looks like. All right. Um, basically, <coughs> what I what uh, why am I doing is just to uh, make it uh, shinier at lower index of refraction, which you can use something like one point eight, I guess, 
which is not really diamond anymore but uh, if you add some light to it uh, mesh plain light and uh, going to materials changing this to emission maybe five um, seven all right uh, to make it bigger uh, you can see it's way more shiny than it was before all right so we're getting a little bit a little bit more interesting result uh, it looks strange at this part so that's we're going that's why we are going to be using the other shader and um, yeah uh, so we are going to mix uh, two of those uh, with this one and uh, that is that we are you uh, that we're going to use a mix shader node so uh, add a glass together and um, at those places that it's super shiny like that uh, I want to be even more shiny because like um, you know like this one uh, look look super sharp and I guess that's what I'm trying to achieve but it doesn't look realistic so we're going to uh, to be using all those other places to look uh, <coughs> just the way that it looks right now and uh, the places that are shiny uh, to look sharp so let's add a input and its layer weight node and just use the facing by something like a point um, I don't know four three guess, or whatever yeah um, now to add even more detail what I did is just uh, duplicate the whole diamond and scale it inside of it by um, 0.3 now at the top you can see the bottom shape for a little bit just because of the glass one uh, because of the low index one I mean <coughs> but um, it adds a, a whole another level of detail to every single faces right here so I feel like it's a good thing and it looks way more interesting you know uh, <laughs> That is why I didn't call this t tutorial on how to make a diamond because it's so far from diamond that <laughs> I couldn't call it diamond, you know, because <laughs> it's like a diamond shape of a some kind of colored gem, um, I know properties <laughs> with another gem inside. <laughs> okay, now. I really like this color, but uh, if you want, you can add a uh, RGB and connect it to all of these three ones here, and just switch the color to any color you like, you know, and it is going to look okay. I feel like every color looks okay on this one, you know. <laughs> uh, I'm still go going to be used to it going to be using the same color anyways all right position it the way you like and control alt zero for your camera and move it I guess you can rotate it a little bit um, control alt control sh no control alt D not control all the to <clears throat> duplicate it like that and position it I guess it's more interesting if you can see the shiny bottom <laughs> all right now uh, to add a little bit more interest in the lighting I'm going to duplicate the light and rotate it to the other side right here um, duplicate the shader 
and just the, decrease the value to something like 2 or 3 <sighs> well I leave it at 2 <clears throat> okay sure uh, now let's go to rendering options increase the rendering uh, resolution go to sampling um, increase the samples to something like 400 um, performance 2 points 256, 256 for faster rendering. Well, it's just really technical aspect. You can easily find people explaining that, but you know, it just makes it faster to render. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, and let's just press render. All right, so here we got it finished, and that's my result. And show me. <laughs> which you made uh, you can add some more interesting background I guess some effects for glare on these edges or uh, smoothing it out for a little bit um, I guess improve the modeling <laughs> you know and create a scene that looks good and I know just experiment with it and use it in your projects and I uh, really hope to see it in another tutorial, and see you later. Bye.